In this video, let's understand how to create a user alert rule for a privileged account. The goal of this rule is to protect privileged accounts, including admin, walls, IT users, information governance users, and robot accounts from being used to perform malicious activity. These accounts must already be in your global exclusion list. An example threat pattern is a robot account like a walls account that typically generates changing security events but has suddenly started viewing and exporting documents. Let's now create a user alert rule. Give the rule a name. Explicitly select all these privileged accounts. As an example, we are showing how to add one user. Disable Apply Global Exclusion List to ensure that users in the global exclusion list are included for threat analysis. Enable Ignore Group Thresholds to generate alerts based on deviation from a user's normal behavior and eliminate the impact the peer group behavior has on the generation of alerts for that rule. This can help improve accuracy in detecting anomalous behavior in privileged accounts and when analyzing behavior of users who have given notice. When done, the Set Threshold page should look as follows. Select Quick Analysis. The simulation shows you sample alerts that would have been raised if the rule ran last month. You can set when the rule must be run. Keep the default of continuous. It means that the rule will run as soon as new audit data is imported from iManage work. Set the period across which alerts should be generated when the rule is first run to seven days. Select your notification option, in this case, only when threats detected, and then high and above. Select the users you want notified when alerts of the selected severity are detected. Review the rule summary and activate the rule. The rule is created. As part of user alert rule creation for privileged accounts in iManage Threat Manager, you have scoped the users on whom the rule must be run. Ignore group threshold. Set the frequency at which the rule must be run. Set the period across which the rule must be run. Configured when alerts must be triggered. And included users who must be notified when alerts are triggered.